What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing another 2018 squad. If we could hit 300 likes in this video, that would be insane. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I do squad builders pretty much every day, and I'm gonna try to get all the 2018 teams done by the end of August. So anyway, this is the 2018 Los Angeles Clippers team. I know you're wondering, Jason Williams is retired, and Nikola Jokic doesn't play for the Los Angeles Clippers. And the reason I've got Jokic in is because of Diamond Stone. Now I looked at NBADraft.net, they compared Diamond Stone to either Jokic or Kendrick Perkins. One, I didn't want to pay like 15k for a gold, which is Kendrick Perkins, and two, I've got Diamond Jokic, so this is an excuse for me to use him and make this squad be somewhat able to compete in my team online. Two complete opposite players, but apparently Diamond Stone's being compared to both of them. Kendrick Perkins, a defensive anchor, who was a great team player, and Nikola Jokic could possibly be the best center in the game in a couple of years, who knows. So anyway, at the one we have got Milos Teodosic, the closest thing I can find to him. I can't compare him to anyone except White Chocolate. He is, like, he passes the ball as well, if not better than Jason Williams, is as flashy as Jason Williams, and probably shoots the ball better than Jason Williams. Milos Teodosic is so good, and it's actually, I actually don't know who's going to start. Former teammates Milos Teodosic and Patrick Beverly. I have actually got no idea which of the two they're going to start. I think that they're going to play Teodosic with Griffin and DeAndre Jordan a lot, because it means that Lob City isn't really dead, and the fans get to uh, see it. And I can't see them playing with each other a lot, even though Teodosic could play at the two because he's 6 foot 5 I think that Doc Rivers is going to what, take whatever chance he can get to start his own son. If the Chris Paul things are true, then Doc will definitely be starting Austin Rivers. At the two, we have got a player that I really like. I really like Austin Rivers. I think he's a solid NBA player. I just think he needs to get out of LA and he needs to stop playing with that. He's 6'4", so he can definitely play at the two. And a lot of the time, he ends up playing at the three for the Clippers because they just didn't have any small forwards. The three, we've got their new signing, Danilo Gallinari, who they had to give up Jamal Crawford to get in a sign and trade, which is a big loss. But Gallinari is going to be a solid enough player and they finally get a good small forward. I actually think the Clippers could possibly be better this year without CP3. I know you think I'm crazy, but I think they're going to be better. At the 4 and 5, we have got Lob City. Hall of Fame posterizer, Lob City finisher, and uh, also rebounder. So, Williams or Teodos is going to be throwing a ton of Lob Cities, guys. In real life, Teodos is going to be doing it, and I'm going to be doing it a lot in this game. Off the bench, you got Patrick Beverly, one of the best defensive, if not the best defensive point guard in the game, and it's reflected in his card with 97 on-ball defensive IQ. At the two, we've got their sixth man, Lou Williams. Lou Williams comes in right where Jamal Crawford left, and he honestly probably will perform as well, if not better, as a sixth man than Crawford. Crawford's older, Williams isn't particularly old, and Lou Williams is just a really nice guy to have as a sixth man. At the three, we've got Sam Decker, who came in the Houston trade. They got a lot of decent players from Houston. Beverly, Decker, and Harrell are good players, to be honest. And so is Lou Williams. And the five, we have got Diamond Stone or Nikola Jokic, according to Draft.net. And it's the closest thing we can get to him because he's a rookie. Last three off the bench, we have got Wesley Johnson, who's still with the squad. James Jones, who will not be playing, who's not with the squad. He's just my go-to guy to chuck in at the end of the bench in every single team. And then we've also got Bryce Johnson, who's still with the squad. And I, but I can't really see myself playing these bronzes too much. So anyway, now let's get on to the game. Okay, let's see who we're playing. Not a bad team at all. That Jason Richardson's a great card. Melo, when used right, is a good card. I don't really like him. And two players that can't really shoot free throws, the four and five, so I'll take that. But it will be tough to get any alley-oops against those two great defenders. Okay. So let's get into the closest thing to Teodosic's hands. Set screen. I try to lob to absolutely nobody because that's just bad to catch. No J. Rich jump shots. Just to say that he hits a three on me. Jason Richardson is potentially the best shooter in the game. Like, well, obviously not from deep range, but his release is up there with Steven Jackson's for the best in 2K17. This is where the Lob City can work. This is where Lob City can work. Throw it up to DeAndre Jordan, and we get our first lob of the game to take the lead. Oh my god, I just had a jumper with DeAndre Jordan. What was I doing that for? Am I crazy? Alright, he's got Levine in. Alright, I gotta get on my bench, which is weak. But I do have... Oh, he nailed the three. I do have Diamond Stone, the GOAT, a.k.a. Diamond Nikola Jokic. <laughs> Throw it up. And the Andre with the dunk. Okay, I got two alley-oops. And we are, like, four minutes into the first quarter. Who's open? And it's Jokic, right under the basket. Who finishes the lap? 
Get in the way. Stand. Okay, yeah, could you push the floor? Easy dunk. He's just too quick. For a center, he is just way too quick. Let's hope he doesn't. this guy doesn't rage quit anyway. Tough shot with Gasol. And he nailed it. Let's go, Austin Rivers. Shout out to Blake. And Blake Griffin jams it on. Is it either Francis or Jason Richardson? Wait. And now throw it up. Uh, to nobody. But alley-oops don't always work. We've got still got the seven-point lead. Let's get our bench back in. He's just too fast. He's just way, way too fast for any centers. And we leave pass, possibly the best shooter in the game open. And he blows it. I think I played one game with this carrying like eight green lights. And he goes and gets an and one dunk. And Jokic goes and hacks him. Wow, come on. It's a five-point game again. Okay, I'll finish that. Diamond Stone with another basket. If Diamond Stone is half as good as Nikola Jokic, he's going to be a beast. Not just judging by 2K, but like, they compare him to Jokic. If he's even half the player Jokic will be, he will be insanely good backing up DeAndre Jordan. Let's go, Decker. Like a layup. Let's go, Sam Decker. Lob City with Sam Decker, maybe? And it goes in. Of course, all late shot clock and late game shots are being taken by Lou Williams. Lou Williams pulls up, and Lou Williams hits the three point shot. We got a 16 point lead at halftime. Good defense, Austin Rivers. Okay, let's get out Jason Williams. Shout out to DeAndre. Who gets the you dunk over Ben Wallace? Steal. Wait for him to get running. Throw it up. And DeAndre Jordan with the dunk. It's back to 14 points. And when in doubt, throw the lob. DeAndre Jordan with the dunk over Blake Griffin. Let's get a stop here. Because if he can actually come back in this game. Like, it's, you might think I'm crazy, but like I'm not going to be playing Jokic for the rest of the game. So he might actually come back in the fourth quarter. Wait, wait for it. Can I do it? Can I do it? Throw it up. And he didn't catch the ball. That was a perfect pass for Harrell. And he didn't catch it. Wow, that's an M1. Damn, this is it's still a ball game, to be fair. Like, I'm still not confident that we're going to win by double digits, but it's it's a ball game. Nice layup, Sam Decker. Decker is nine. He's done really well. Okay, pull up. That's open, Lou Williams. Let's go. If you're going to off ball, I'm just going to cheese as much as possible. I'm just going to go five out. Maybe that'll, that'll teach you to play on ball. Baseline, Harrell. Finish the layup. Don't miss the layup. Okay, right back out to Williams. And Williams now has the three. In the corner, Lou Williams. And Lou Williams hits the three-point shot. He's got 17 points. Oh, great block, Blake Griffin. Let's get into his hands. And they have to fail. They have to fail. They knew it was going to be an alley-oop if they didn't fail. Like, he wants the off-ball, so I'm just going to five out cheese with and throw alley-oops. Okay, he got that one with um, Robin, but... That's going to be the only one he gets with Robin. It's a good shot from Melo. Okay, wide open. Gallinari in the corner. Put it up. And Gallinari hits that. you got to play some defense. There's no point pressuring full court with Melo. You've left me wide open. He's hacking. He doesn't want any more alley-oops. And to be fair, this is what's going to be happening this year with, with Tia Dosic. It's just going to be Lob City, but with a slightly better passer, but not as good a defender. Like, just purely passing-wise, Theodos is probably as good, if not better, than Chris Paul. Obviously, he's nowhere near the player of Chris Paul. But just purely passing-wise, I'm not sure if I've ever seen a point guard that's as good as Theodos. Finish the layup. And that's how you end the game. Well, that would be how you end the game if they didn't go to free throw line because we pushed them with one second to go. Okay, he blows the first. And he makes the second, so it is a 20-point game, and we get the win. So let's look at the team comparison. We shot 67%, shot 53% from three. But of course, we did. We only had nine turnovers, which is a surprise. Let's see what the box score says. So for him, his Carmelo had 12 points, going four of 10 in the field. And for us, Lou Williams at 17, Nikola Jokic or Diamond Stone at 17 as well. But um, I didn't play him, as far as I know, at all in the second half. He may have played a minute or two, but I don't think I 
played him. Oh no, he only played three minutes. He had 17 points in three minutes. Wow. Oh my God, that's a lot of points. Okay, um, DeAndre Jordan had 16, going eight from 11 for the field. And he also had seven dunks. He made one shot that wasn't a dunk. Sam Decker had nine. Jay Houston Williams had seven. Blake Griffin had four. Jason Williams also had six turnovers trying to throw alley oops. And Gallinari had three, hit a three point from the corner. Austin Rivers had three, hit the RD3. Bryce Johnson has had two. Harrell and Beverly did not score. And Wesley Johnson didn't play. And of course, James Jones didn't play because he's not in the Clippers. So anyway, that's the video. I genuinely think that the Clippers are going to be the surprise team in the NBA this year. I think they're going to leapfrog the Warriors. But I don't think they're going to end up in the third seed in the West. I think they're going to stay as the fourth seed. I think it's going to go Warriors, Spurs, Thunder, Clippers, Rockets. I think that last year was the best year the Rockets will ever have. And I think that they will actually get worse in the regular season with CP3. I think they'll be a better playoff team. But I think regular season wise, I think they're going to be worse with CP3 rather than James Harden. But that's just my predictions. I've been wrong with predictions before. I've been right with crazy predictions. And I just tend to think a little bit differently. So anyway... That's the video. I really like this Clippers team. And in-game, even without Jokic, it's a really nice and fun team to use. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.